Hello and welcome to this week's Minor Region Power Rankings. This is a new style of video. Obviously, Jesus. Obviously, we have um, been doing these throughout summer and spring for that matter. But, um, well, no, actually, I didn't do it for spring. But for summer, I have been doing them in my news and notes. And on Sunday, I explained how people felt like maybe I should do these videos kind of separately, break them up, um, and not, you know, have as much content. So, um, this is how it is now doing it in a different style, similar to how I did the power rankings before I'm going to write them as I go. Sorry that you don't get to know what the results are when this starts. Um, also keep in mind, I have not watched a single game of any of these regions play. So when you're in the comments and you say, you don't know what you're talking about, I'm just going to say, well, this is what the stats say. The stats could be wrong. That is where you come in. Give me a vibe for what happens. I know I have um, a subscriber, Meander, I believe his name is, or their name is. Sorry, I shouldn't assume anything. Um, they um, are a big PCS fan and usually give me a good vibe on what's occurring. I also have a couple fans from the VCS that will also fill me in as well. So... You know, fill me in if you believe that the stats are leading me a certain way. Um, I will say that schedule, strength of schedule is not a part of it, which in the case of the PCS and VCS does matter right now because these teams haven't played that many different opponents yet. So, um, 10th place, and by the way, my markers are literally right next to the mic, which is kind of unavoidable. Um, so, 10th place. Uh, Deep Cross Gaming from the PCS. So, Deep Cross Gaming are sitting at 4-2. and two. They went 3-0 um, and oh last week. And their key carry was Hana in the jungle going 10-0-25. And you will notice, um, I did base, my algorithm is based off of um, stats. Not, well, stats, obviously, I've already said that. But um, MSI. Um, the, I mean, we're not going back all the way to 2019 when the last time the BCS was at an international tournament. So we have to use MSI to determine how the regions stack up against one another. Therefore, the PCS is the king, followed by the VCS and the rest. So... 10th place, Deep Cross Gaming, Hana, 10-0 and 25 in the jungle. 9th place, the only Latin American representative. Latin America did not play two weeks ago. Returned to the Rift this past week because of COVID. Um, Astral Esports. Sitting at 6-2. Um, Went 2-0 and last week. Um, and their key carry was Shadow at support. And some people be like, why is the support the carry? Well, basic stats, 2-2 two, two, and 37. Um, best KDA on the team. I mean, they had a couple other good players. Boogie obviously does really well. Um, he goes off sometimes. When he goes off, he, he goes off. Um, Ache in top lane's been okay. Um, Mid laner, I can't pronounce her name, it's escaping me, and I don't remember who the 80 carry is. But we'll get there eventually. Astral Esports, ninth place leading the way. Eighth place, we have Faria Esports out of Brazil. They are 8 and 2. This last week went 2 and 0. Oh. They, um, F and B went 20, 4, and 10 in two games. Uh, top laner with 20 kills in two games definitely deserves uh, MVP of the week. Um, you don't see that often where a top laner can get to that many kills. I believe he had a Cal game with uh, double digits, which helped him immensely. The top team currently in the, um... Brazilian region is Pain Gaming, not Red Cannons. Red Cannons fell off this past week. They lost to Pain and dropped off the list. By the way, 
the top Turkish team. Turkey did not play this past week, so it did not help Nasser Turkey's cause. Nasser Turkey is 14th if this list went farther. Um, Pain Gaming. Are also 8 and 2. 2 and 0 last week. And Trigo. So Trigo in uh, 80 carry went 10 0 and 22. As they uh, beat Red Canids and took the uh, top spot in Brazil. I have a lot of Brazilian subscribers. If you're watching this video, I would love to know how that happened, what occurred to cause. Um, you know, red to finally lose the, lose the throne. Sixth place, we have Sengoku Gaming in Japan. They continue to be on a tear. Starting the split, 8-0. Um, 8-0, they went 4-0 last week, not 3-0. They went 4-0. Jet in mid lane. The Japanese mid laners, well, the Koreans in Japan, that's how I should phrase it, did very well this past week. Sengoku Gaming, Jet went 26 1 and 28 in three games. And then we have good old Yahorong. Sorry, that was so loud. My apologies. Yahorong. Detonation Focus Me have now finally recovered and overtaken Sengoku Gaming in my um, algorithm. And this was only a matter of time. If you uh, followed during MSI, I was pretty, I was pretty high on Detonation Focus Me. And, um... I mean, I was pretty high on them. I thought they would do better than they did. Unfortunately, they struggled. 16-1 and 38. So, yes, I mean, that scoreline of 16-1 and 38 in four games, that's pretty damn dominant. A 50, uh, what, 54 KDA? I would say so. Um, pretty damn good out of the two Japanese teams. As Japan really, and I noticed this in spring when I was doing my Japanese previews and looking back at... Um, spring it was a very top heavy region that caused the bottom teams to really look bad and oceana is pretty similar in that way um and it is no surprise that that is what's occurring as we speak right now um fourth place we have team whales in vietnam yes not gam not saigon buffalo and it shocks me as much as it may shock you um, they are 2-0. They only played two games thus far. Well, two series. My apologies. Damn it. Um, so, yeah, they only played two series. I think they're like 4-1 or something. Um, if I recall correctly when I was looking at it. Um, I believe this is a strength of schedule thing. But if you're a fan of the VCS, comment down below with why they are top dogs right now i mean glory in mid 27 2 and 33 so if you could riddle me how he pulled that off um i'd appreciate it um because obviously i mean he's a player that i believe in my preview i said was good um so i don't I mean, I've never watched him play, so maybe he is good. Um, the, that says he did very good this past week. That's You can't deny what that says. Um, third place, PSG Talon. This is PSG Talon. This is going to upset people. This is where people might get upset. So, you're going to say to yourself, how can PSG be here? How can they be here? They beat J-Team on Sunday or Monday or whenever. How, how did that happen? Well, so they did great. They went 3-0 last week. Uh, Hanabi, 11-0-11. I mean, Hanabi continues to show he's the best top laner in the PCS, arguably 
um, could definitely make a very big case for him being the top uh, top laner out of any region that isn't the major four. Um, however, PSG got a loss. I can't. What am I gonna say? J Team, sorry, you lost to PSG. You know, you dropped below PSG. PSG lost to what would be the equivalent of trash compared to the fact that J Team lost to PSG. So, I mean, let's let's be real here. It's only fair to um, give J Team a pass as well, right? Right. So, second place. This is another thing. So people are gonna be like, well, Chief Esports Club. So they're a team. Oceana. Who I believe are 13 and 0. Um, since we last did a minor region power ranking, they are 4 and 0. Continuing to dominate Australia. Topoon in top lane went 24, 5, and 35. I mean, the top laner, it's a, he's a Korean import. Um, but 24, 5, and 35. Chief Esports Club continues to dominate the um, continent of Australia and the Oceania region in as a whole. Um, like I keep saying every time I bring them up and people are like, I, I just imagine people are like, why are they ranked so high? They went 19 and two in spring and should and choked during the playoffs. Let's, let's be real. Um, and I can't penalize the team for choking in playoffs in a power rankings. That makes no sense. Um, this is not necessarily who the best teams will be at the end, but who are the best teams right now? Um, thus this split so far. So GP sports club continue to crush it. And first place, because we've already, spoiler alert, J-Team. Um, J-Team, the only team on this list with a loss this past week. But that happens when you um, play another team on the list, right? Right. I mean, it's only fair. If you play another team on the list, this will happen. Lil V, Lil v not Lil V. Lil V went 15, 4, and 18 in the 80 carry spot. Um, so, J Team continue to be a top dog. Uh, that makes sense. We'll see how tomorrow looks um, with my big league power rankings, where um, I imagine some of these top teams will appear, um, depending on how... The LPL and LCK go tomorrow. If you missed my roundup, there are quite a few games tomorrow with teams that are relevant. I believe there are eight teams and five of them are in my top 25. So um, there may be some jostling of the power rankings tomorrow morning, let alone what they look like right now. Um, obviously, I don't believe a small region plays tomorrow. I could be wrong, but um, this may be what it is going into tomorrow. Um so if you like this sort of content and like the video so i know this sort of thing works um i know i did it a different style i talked towards the whiteboard a lot maybe that completely ruined the video i thought about it as i was going ahead around i mean as i was doing it but this is a one take channel because i believe i'd rather be real and straight up than redo a video and clean up my takes and things like that i'd rather be going on instinct and um giving my true unfiltered opinion so down below like i said comment like the video uh check the discord out the link is in the description and thank you for watching